Okay guys, so this is going to be a real chill video. Um, I don't do vlogs and stuff because I really am a homebody, but I'm starting to go out. So, long story short, let me see if I can set this up. No, that's not gonna work. Um, I am going on solo dates is what I'm doing. It's not gonna be solo today, it's starting off solo, but somebody's gonna come in about 20 30 minutes so I do still have time to just sit and chill with myself um, and I do spend time with myself at home because you yeah, know I'm a single woman so that's not an issue I just I just um, want to be able to go places by myself like I shop by myself um, and I may go to a drive through by myself but I've never sat in a restaurant by myself I've never gone to the movies by myself um, and so these are things that I just really want to do and also I just want to start dating myself because I want to transition to actually learn to date um, because my dating doesn't last that long so I figure if I set my own standards for myself everything else will flow um, I do believe in the law of attractions, um, the law of attraction. So, dating myself um, just sets a standard and a boundary for me, um, along with me setting boundaries and standards in other areas. So, this is just step one to my journey, just in life. Period. Um, so, yeah. So today, I tried last weekend. I got overwhelmed, and I just gave up but I came back today so I went to where um, I'm at Red Lobster now so and that is what I'm going to do while I am sitting here um, I'm going to look through the menu so that by the time someone gets here I will know exactly what it is that I want to order um, and then I'll also sit here probably look at social media for a little bit as well um, just to get in the mood of being okay with sitting at a table by myself. Um, and I know for some that might be like, really? And yeah, really, it's a process. I deal with anxiety. Um, well, let me, I've never been diagnosed with anything. Um, you know what, that's a lie, I have. So I do deal with anxiety, and so, and I don't like a lot of people around, and I'm very uncomfortable, especially when I'm by myself. Um, and a lot of it has always been like a self-esteem thing. And since I've already, you know, I've worked in that and still working, it's always a process um, to always be sure of yourself and to always have a high self-esteem or a self-esteem period. It's, it's always, it's a daily, it's a process. And it's a, it's a work, like you have to work at it every day. Um, because sometimes things are happening and it'll throw you off. So you have to be conscious. And I like to make conscious decisions. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So, yeah. That is what I'm doing today. I'm here at Red Lobster. And I think I'm going to do the three from the sea. So I will check in with you guys later. Because I'm not sure what I'm going to do after this. Guys, so. I want to show you the things that I purchased on my day out um my start solo date went well um it went okay let's say that so i started off by myself as y'all know and then a friend came and joined me and thank god he came and joined me because i don't know if i had the patience within myself to sit there that long and wait for my food um, but it did work out and it was a blessing and the food was super duper cheap um, yeah super duper cheap so I didn't I still minded but I guess being patient is, is, is a good thing sometimes so after that I went and bought a few things I went to Ulta and I made my first intentional um, purchase of a fragrance, actually two of them. Um, I bought a full, um, I bought a name brand fragrance before, but it wasn't something that I wanted. I didn't even know what it smelled like, but because it was on sale or there was a glitch in the system, 
Um, I was able to get it for super cheap, which was like $30, and it came with the full size, which was like the Carolina something with the, you know, the high heel um, perfume. It's a beautiful stiletto um, bottle. It's beautiful, the packaging. But the smell is just not for me. I, I didn't like it at all, so I passed it along to my sister. Um, but yeah, so this will be my first intentional uh, purchase of a perfume. So I'm really excited about that. And then this two of these items I'm going to show you first. I purchased these before, um, before then. But... I decided to showcase it because it was in a bag and I might as well just go ahead and show you guys. But I am going to do a video wearing these to see exactly how amazing they work. Or if they work amazing at all. So this is from Kira Beauty. I have the Perfectly Defined, which is a powder contour palette. And it was $7.99. Both of these were $7.99. And then I got the Divine Complexion um, from Kira Beauty again. And this is the Pressed Finishing Powder. So, as you can tell, I have not opened it yet. But I'm excited to try it out. And these are the powders. So, yes ma'am. Okay. Well, contour. I don't know the bone in these two. Evidently, it's not a contour, but whatever. They're powders. Okay. So, let's get this purchase. Also, let's just show you guys. I purchased, if you do not know, I have a thing for Coach Parker books. They are, um, I like the style of them. The quality is very good, and it is it beats the price of a lot of pocketbooks and purses that are like high high up there in price um and for me personally i think some of these high-end prices or high-end purses are average looking pocketbooks they just are I, I guess, whatever but that's my personal opinion so i purchased this coach purse here which is like a burgundy wine color and I got this from TJ Maxx here. It was going for $99, but it was on clearance for $72. And I figured I couldn't leave it, especially since I did make a purchase from two pocket books. And both of them cost me over um, $100. And uh, one of them I know for sure is smaller than this one. So not mad at all. The regular price for this would have been uh, $250. $250. So, yeah. Also, I purchased mini brushes. Okay. Mini to me. Okay. I haven't made a brush purchase like this. In a, in a minute outside of like my boxy charm because it's just cheaper on boxy charm and it just makes more sense okay I'm wearing this because it is cold like I'm the leader but I'm excited like that I purchased this I know today today or yesterday marked the first day of spring but I'm cold okay I'm cold. so so listen Funny, funny minute, tiny story. So I went to Ulta before I went to TJ Maxx, and Ulta had these brushes, uh, Real Technique brushes for $6. And I was going to purchase them, but I was like, no, I don't need it. So I left them. And when I tell you guys I am glad that I left them, now, these are not the brushes at all. Well, I got one of the brushes. There were three brushes. I got one that was exactly the same that was in there but the other two i did not see which makes me sad but hopefully i can find them um but it was cheaper the six dollars so i got this it was real technique limited edition electric love blow up finishing um kit 
and this cost me $6.99 so for a dollar more I was able to get four brushes in total instead of six dollars for one so I got this one here and this goes for that's less than two dollars a brush okay less than two dollars a brush I think it's like one about 175 a brush I don't know don't quote me on that, okay? Three, four, five, six, seven. But I think it's 175 a brush. So we have this one here. And it's a fan brush, a skin brush for foundation, a blush brush, a highlighter brush. And then you also, this orange cloth here is a makeup remover cloth. So I was really excited. And then Victoria on the back i don't know her last name so i don't want to mess it up but i do follow her on instagram i love her she does beautiful looks and she is amazing when it comes to skincare and stuff i love her videos then i got this one which is for powder and bronzer here so this goes of course with this one here so pray for me to find the other ones then Okay, then we got more Real Technique brushes, but these are a different set. This is the Soft Glam um, brushes here. Oh, before I go, uh, this one was $4 a brush. So it's still, even though it's more expensive than the set, it still made sense to buy it because it's $4 and I still saved two. It's $3.99. Now, here are the, what did I say? Soft Glam Eye Brush Trio. This brush is to look weird as far as like the middle one. It's thick as I don't know what. Okay, thick. But the set is really cute. The, uh, the handles, I love them. So that's why I really purchased it. But I will try all these brushes at some point. Um, you got a eye perfecting brush which lets your eyes sparkle and shine, sweep cream and liquid shadow across the lid. You have the dual fiber eye brush, which I'm assuming is the one in the middle. Nope, lies. This one on this end should be the dual fiber brush. Blend shadow and decrease of the lid to add depth to the eye look. And then you have a tapered shadow brush, which densely packs and precise Cuts for blending shadow into the crease and eye before seamless finish. I don't know which is which, okay? Um, that middle one, I'm not sure exactly which one that is. Like, at all. But now that I'm looking at it, my brush is damaged. It is what it is. So, the next brush I got is a, this is a primer brush for cream and gel primers which is this one here cost three dollars then i got lux highlighter for cream and liquid highlighter which is almost thick like the other one but this is just um longer as far as the bristles so who knows okay but this was 3.99 as well and when i tell you i purchased this just for the aesthetics of it the handle that's why i purchased these this one is $3.99 also, and this is a complexion brush, which is for liquid and cream foundation. And this is a flat multi-layered bristle. It helps to seamlessly blend foundation products. So, those are the brushes that I purchased, and that's all that I purchased. And that I did give a donation because they were doing donations this week for um, what's going on, I believe, in Ukraine, I think. But, okay, so for my Ulta purchase, if you guys do not know, it's a 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta, which is why I made this purchase. Now, I do have the smaller bottle, which I have been wearing, and I've been pairing it with a fragrance um, that I purchased from a site I can't think of the site name I think I did a previous video on the um, fragrances that I purchased from that site I can't think of the name to save my life right now 
but I pair it with that one um, and that's not even a perfume that I pair it with it's actually supposed to be a cologne that I pair it with but I love the smell of it so I wear it now um, I got this free gift here which is dermatologist recommended from La Roche um, it's a cleanser replant moisturizer and protect here so I got that which was a, a bonus gift um, now what I, I did purchase and I made sure I purchased the big bottles because it just made more sense to get them for my money okay and all three of these are Lancome products so the um, Lancome Idol Lash Lash Lifting Volumizing Mascara was half off I do like this mascara I've had a sample of it, so I believe it cost me, I was going to say a total, but wait, $13.50 is what it cost me. It was half off, so it cost me $13.50. It's usually, if you put it together, $27, so not bad at all. I was going to say $15, so not bad at all. Then I purchased two of these fragrances. They both cost $65, which is 50% off as well. So they were $65, well, $130 is what the full retail price of it is. And I got the Idol. Um, this is the Aura. Yeah, don't judge. And then this is the Le Grand Perfume. And I got them, like I said, in the big one, which is 3.4 fluid ounce because it really just made sense for me to purchase these big bottles. The small 0.81 was $30. The 1.7 was $50. <clears throat> and this big one was $65. So I like to get my bank for my book and I feel like it did. Okay, now this aura one is one that has to sit before you can actually get the potency of it, the amazing smell of it. It's very light and very subtle. So when I, I was going to purchase it anyway to try it, and if I didn't like it, bring it back. Um, the lady sprayed it, and I'm glad I went with my first intention because if I don't want this off of the paper I would have left it okay so but I'm so glad that I didn't leave it okay now this is the oral one and this one it, it has a spray on now my small one of course is a side it does have a spray but I'm glad to know that the big one does have a spray but the small one is really a small it's like this size here it's not as thick as this, but it's like this size here. But it just it has a top like this, but like I said, it doesn't have a spray. So you just dab it on your skin wherever you want it, um, and go from there. And I've been putting it on my skin and not my clothes because I didn't want to take the chance of leaving a spot on any of my clothes. But this one, it's just beautiful. Like I don't gravitate towards vanilla smells. Um, mm when I smell them like vanilla for me is a beautiful smell don't get me wrong but I have a thing of like a musk smell I just love a musk I okay I'm not sure where I left off but I was saying that I really do have a thing for a musk smell and a masculine smell I just love it and my main scent that I been using along with the Idol Le Grand perfume of perfume um, was from Dossier Dossier and it is meant to be a man's scent um, but I like it so I use it and I pair it with this one here um, 
which I really do love and enjoy. So, to be able to have scents that you like, I'm excited about. Also, because I've never really been one into scents like that, I'm excited. So, this one here gives, it's subtle as well, and it's this one. This is the Idol the Le Grand Parfum, or Le Grand Parfum, however you want to pronounce it, whatever, but this is the original one that I actually had. I'm not going to say original, but this is the one that I actually had in the small bottle, and I love this one. And they actually mix well together. There's that little wheel. I don't can see it. They do complement each other some. So I'm not mad about it at all. But these are my two perfume purchases, which are my first first intentional purchase of um, perfume. So I, I am excited about that. So, if you cannot tell, it's a couple of days after I started this video because I needed to post, which I did miss my post um, for Tuesday. So I made that one for Saturday. And now that I was able to delete some things, I can continue. But we're going to add these items in here as well. So, I purchased um, two of the Natasha Denona Transfer Matte Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation. One for me and one for my sister. Um, I'm not even sure if this is my color or not, but I purchased it. Um, I got mine in 85WN, which is warm neutral. And then I got my sister in 92 warm deep. My sister's dark, hers is deep whatever um and then i purchased her the charlotte tilbury 13 cool i purchased one for myself but they never sent it so they did give me a refund which makes me sad because i really wanted to try this foundation but it is what it is this is what it is then i got this is the juice beauty the original solution stem cellular anti-wrinkle retinol overnight serum which I purchased and I <sighs> I may have I already have this but I haven't used it yet so I'm not sure but I purchased it again these orders the perf not the perfume the foundation and this I got from um, BoxyCharm and this is the Trezus Beauty this is a dazzling Lino's kit. This comes with two brushes and a palette, a six pan palette. So I really wanted a six pan palette, but since they had the brushes that came along with it, I figured I might as well get it this way. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness gracious. So you get two brushes and you get this palette here. This is what the packaging of this palette looks like. And this is what the inside of the palette looks like. Really cute. Really cute. I haven't tried anything from this brand yet. I'm trying to figure out if I even had the brushes for this brand, but I don't think so. I don't know. But even so, if I did, I haven't used it yet. So that's it for this order here. Then here is my uh, part of my belt order. Because um, I didn't receive all of it. My, don't do that. I got the MAC paint pot. Uh, I'm not sure what the original reason to use that is for, but um, 
one of my favorite YouTubers uses it for her small lines. Um, so I said, let me try it because my makeup does crease in my small line area and it's only, it's only this side here um, for the most part. So I'm gonna use it on both, but I wanna see if that will help anything at all. If not, you know, see what it's actually supposed to be used for and use it for that. So, yeah. And I purchased that and these items because it was on sale. And I got a cash back from um, Top Cashback. So, I'm really excited. Because I know my motto is to save a dollar, okay? Like, my mom was really to save a dollar. So, um, yeah. I've known about this for a while um, with the paint pot, but I don't, I just never purchased it. Um, so yeah, I just never purchased it. So, I got the MAC Stack Mascara, and then I got the, which I'm excited about, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I purchased this, and this is my second time purchasing it, okay? I purchased it once before, but I took it back. But I figured with 20% off, is what I got this for. I believe I have to check, but I believe I got this for twenty percent off. But also buying it from Belk, I got a ten percent. Was it? No, I think it was fifteen percent cash back from this purchase. So to me, it was amazing savings, which is why I did it. So this Mac uh, mascara, and I'm not really into Mac like that, but I did want to try the paint pot because um, Rebecca Silver said to do so. And is it? See, now I'm doubting myself. But I know her last name is Silver. I will put it in the description box. Um, but this is an infinite build volume plus length mascara. And this one, I mean, every all of this included the 20%. Well, these two and the paint pot included the 20% off. And this just cost me eight dollars, so I'm excited to try this. I got it in five W one point five, which is in cinnamon, and this is it's just in black. So interested in those, and this cost me eight dollars. And this is it says meet your mat double wear makeup kit choose your shades, and then on the back. It tells you everything that's in there. So I get a Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I get a the Glow Mascara, a watery Glow Mascara, and I get a brush, a dual ended brush. Um, so one has a brush and one has a sponge on the other end of it. So. That is what it looks like. Hope you guys can see it. Can't tell because I'm not actually uh, looking at the screen. I have it turned the correct way this time. Um, it says this value is $54. All references to price and value based on suggested retail price. So I don't know if these two together is $54 or just this by itself is $54. I have to look at that. But either way, I see it. Um, and it says personalize your kit with the perfect match of double wear makeup foundation the number one foundation in the u.s i don't know how true that is um yeah i don't know how true that is but okay. 
second part. And here's the night serum. I'm going to say that the full size of this is bigger than this, but to be able to try it, I'm excited to do so. I'm excited to do so. Okay, so I'm like, I know I'm missing something. And then here is the Watery Glow Primer. And this is 0.5 ounces here. So, yeah, that's it for those purposes from Belk. Oh, and the last. I purchased these from Coach Outlet and I don't know why I didn't get my pink pocketbook but I didn't. Um, the one I really wanted is no longer available but they do have another one that's available but I, that I might purchase. I'm not sure yet, but I did purchase these two. They were both over a hundred dollars. Um, the small one here <laughs> and this bigger one here, they were both over a hundred dollars. Uh, this I believe is supposed to be the different type of leathers, different type of leathers. So yeah. Okay, this one here was 110 and this one here was 119 So, total 229 and I did get 10% back. So, I should be getting $22.90 back. I will check the seat because I'm not sure if they did yet. But, these are times that I buy my purses. Um, either usually around my birthday or when there is a nice cash back or if it's just specifically 70% off but if I can do both oh. yes ma'am I will so as you can see this is just a small uh, bag um, but I really do like it so we open it here. I'm not going to take the papers or anything off right now because I'm going to keep it on until I decide to use it. But I'm excited about it. What I don't like, I'm going to be honest, is the folding here. next bag is this beautiful bag here. I think it's beautiful. Um, yeah. So you know most of the bags do come with the option of a long strap or a shorter strap here. That one, I guess you can use it as like a clutch and as a over bag that you put over your um, shoulder area, you know, crossbody bag. So you make those decisions. But this is what this bag looks like, which I do love. Now this is the uh, pebble um, leather, which has a little pebble index in it. So that is this one. I love this color. Do I wear this color? No, I'm not really a yellow uh, woman um, at all when it comes to clothes, especially a shirt. I don't like it. I feel like it clashes with my skin tone. It's just a personal thing. But this bag, I really do love. So I can, I can wear this bag a lot if I wanted to. Um, but when I saw the color, I just really wanted it. 
when I saw the shape of the bag, I really wanted it because these two are different bags just based off of the shape of it. You know, they're around the same size, but the shape of it is really different. Um, this one feels a little heavier than this one. And yeah, this one doesn't look like it comes with a strap on it um, like this one does. So either way, I like this bag. I may purchase the pink one. Um, if it's still available soon, but I'm not going to make any promises because I have a few other things that I'm getting ready to do. Guys, I, what I do want y'all to do is stay tuned. In the next couple of months, I will be doing a little bit of traveling. Not a whole bunch. Not a whole bunch. One's going to be in the U.S. and one is going to be out of the U.S. Um, supposed to be out of the U.S., which I know things can change. So... We will see how that goes. But that is it, guys, for this video or for this haul. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, that's it. I am tired, but I have to get up. And, well, I'm already up, but I have to go to work. And um, if you hear this morning in the background, that's my baby. He is not feeling well today. So he's going to stay home with his uncle while I go to work. Um, but yeah, that's it. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of future uploads. But until the next video, I will talk to you guys a different. Love you people later. Bye, guys.